This is Twit. Let's talk about webcams. We can make these better. There are ways. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of different ways. And um, we can put a, a link to a guide um, in the it's show notes that goes through how to set everything up with, with one of the contenders. But there's essentially, when I did some research, there's two different apps that make using your iPhone as a web camera much easier. And one of them is Camo and the other one is Epoch Cam. And depending on your setup and how you like to do things and so on and so forth, you know, the different version, different app might might be better for you. But essentially, it allows you to take the great camera on the back of your device, even on an older iPhone, and use it as a web camera, which is especially handy if you've got an old iPhone hanging around and you're like, okay, like the whole pandemic thing happened. There was the working from home. Nobody had webcams or that nostril cam that's in the hinge of my laptop was fine. Like I can live with it. And now you're like, okay, well, I'm actually permanently working from home and I want to buy a web camera and we've got chip again. There are no chips, which means that all the webcams are hundreds of dollars, but I've got this old iPhone success here. I could use that. Or, well, my sister's just got rid of her or getting rid of her iPhone 7 and getting a new upgrade. Maybe I can take that off of her hands for a very low price. Um, And instead you can you know, use that as your web camera. Um, And there's a couple of things that you can do with this as well, which makes it even easier uh, to use longer term, though it does require a bit more setup. Um, And there is an excellent guide from Simon Stovering, who's the creator of a couple of really niche, little, lovely iOS apps like Datajar, JSON, um, and so on, which allows you to just use the iPhone permanently as your web camera without having to open the app or anything because it just gets permanently locked into that one application and that's all it does anymore. Um, And that's using uh, Apple's uh, tools to lock that down, just like you would lock an iPhone or an iPad down for school use or or whatever. So that's really handy. But you can use your iPhone as a great web camera so you don't have to go out and buy whatever, you know, the latest and greatest is. I'm using a Logitech Brio, but by the time this signal gets across the internet, it's not 4K anymore. Um, But, (laughs) you know, you can save some money and why not reuse an old device? After all, the three R's are reduce, reuse, and then recycle. (laughs) Um, I am actually today coming to you from an iPhone using uh, Camo Studio. I uh, stopped using it because on my Intel Mac, it would spin, spin, spin up those fans and they would be picked up by the microphone. And also I just didn't like the MacBook Pro running that hard just to have uh, this, the webcam, whoops, I just shook my whole screen. Uh, But I, now that I'm on the Mac studio, uh, it it works very well. And the bonus point is that I get to use camo and I can do fun things like, uh, let me find it this where, oh, suddenly we are much closer. Um, because you can switch between the different um, cameras that are built into the iPhone. Uh, and so there's wide, ultra wide, and, um, and uh, telephoto. But then you can also do fun things like adding a portrait mode, for example, which gives a nice uh, blur behind you. Uh, but then things like having uh, face follow, where you can move all over the screen and it moves along with you. For folks who are listening, Ooh. it's just this very uh, kind of abrupt. Mike is trying to make his own motion. Like that's feature. what's yeah, really exactly. happening here. Ooh. Yeah, it's like having a studio display without having to pay Apple for the studio display or having to find an S space for an extra display. Have you got a cat on your head, Micah? N- now there's a cat a, on Micah my Micah has head. an AI cat on his head. Okay, <laughs> this is this is officially the end of the universe. Um, you know the. the I mean, breaking news happened this week anyway, and the Apple made more money. So I, I think we're. Uh, <laughs> I will get yeah, rid of. I, I love the fact that you can do all these things with with the uh, with these apps, and of course, you know, it's it's nice to be able to reuse your devices, or even if you just don't have a web camera, or the web camera is going to be on a laptop that, for whatever reason, needs to be pointing away from you, and usually you've got everything, but this time you don't need to. Camo and Epoch Cam are good options to know that exist and have one of them in your back pocket just in case you do need one. 